Hi, this is problem 8.1 and we are in the analysis of dry fiction and we are being asked to analyze that if we apply a force of 80 newton to this mass 20 kilograms, if that force is able to move that box. So the first step is to do our free body diagram. Free body diagram of our box or crate. So we do our free body diagram right here and then we have the external forces will be the force P that I'm applying which is 80 newtons at 30 degrees and then we have the weight. The weight will be located at the center of gravity of my crate. So right here which will be 0 0.4 meters. So this is the weight. And the weight, you remember, that is mass times gravity. The mass is 20, and the gravity in international units is 9.8. Okay, so that gives me a value of 196.2 newtons. Then I have to analyze the floor. We always have a normal force. Remember that the normal force is a equivalent concentrated load of a distributed load because this weight of that box is distributed along the whole floor. So we have an equivalent normal force, but we do not know where that force is located. So I will draw it in some place x. It's not under the weight exactly because that force here also contributes to this distributed load. And now I have to draw the friction force and friction force is always opposite to the tendency of motion. We are not moving because we are in equilibrium but it's the tendency of motion. If I am applying a force in this direction the tendency of motion will be in this direction so therefore my friction force will be in this direction. Okay, so this is my free body diagram. Once I have the free body diagram, I do my equations of equilibrium. And the equations of equilibrium will be add forces in X. Then I will have negative F plus 80 cosine of 30 is equals to zero. That allowed me to find already F. Then I add forces in Y equals to zero, and then I have the weight, my normal force, minus the component of this force in the Y direction, which is 80 sine of 30. So from here, I can find F, and from here, you see that the weight is already known, and this force is already known, I can find N. I have the values right here, and then I have F is 69.3 Newtons and N is equals to 236.2 Newtons. Okay, so I was able to find the friction force and I was able to find the normal force. Do these two forces give me a hint of if the box was able to reach impending motion or what, am I beyond it? for the, the equilibrium status and I am already in dynamics. How do we know that? What we are going to do is compare this force over here with the possible maximum frictional force that we have when we reach impending motion. As you remember, the maximum force when I reach impending motion is equals to mu times n. So let's calculate that. It will be 0.3 times 236.2 and the for maximum force is equals to 70.9 newtons. So with that said here, then we have these three values. Can we get to a conclusion if the box moved or it reached impending motion? As you see, the force that we got is less than the maximum. Very close, so just a little bit more force will have 
make the box reach to impending motion. But so far, the force, which is 69.3, is less than the maximum force. From the theory, we recall that the friction force may be less than the maximum friction force. The maximum friction force is attained just only before the block starts moving. That's called impending motion. So just because the object is not moving, don't assume that the friction force is the maximum value. Therefore, Create does not move. It means it did not reach the impending motion in order to lose equilibrium. So with this force applied, the box stays in equilibrium.